Welcome to all of you to this webinar. I'm Jorge Sanchez. I'm product manager in Siemens. Kinex product manager responsible for a part of our Kinex devices. And today I'm going to talk to you about Kinex Daily Gateway and uh, some use cases related to human centric lighting. So let's start with an overview of our Kinex Daily Gateway's family. We have three devices with different channels and different functions. We have uh, two devices with two channels, the 31 and 21, and one with one channel, which is the zero free. And depending on the model, we have different functions. All of them support that two ballast, obviously. And now with the last update, all of them support tunable white. And also emergency, emergency lighting standby. And depending on the version, for example, you can control DALI sensors, in this case from OSRAM. And uh, the plus versions support uh, lighting controls as well. We have constant lighting control and two point lighting, as well as effect editors and type programs. But you will see this in the use cases. And today I want to talk about uh, human central lighting. And I guess most of you already know what it is, but that's uh, give you an overview on human central lighting. I like this definition. I like the set the right light at the right time in the right location. This is for me human central lighting really. And there are some reports which say that uh, appropriate illuminations have a positive effect on humans and can contribute on our improvement and creativity. So what is, this report says is that uh, with artificial light, light is possible to influence melatonin and consequently the circadian reef of humans. That's like what you can see on the picture on the right. So with artificial light, we can imitate the light of the sun and this has effects on our body. And we can say that depending on the color temperature, our body may react differently. So with warm light, it's more, we can be calm, we can have comfort, relax, and cold light may be better for concentrations, performance, to be motivated. I will give you some use cases related on these different uh, color temperatures. So we use the tunnel white name, and it's measured in Kelvin degrees, typically from 2,700. Kelvin, which is warm white to 6,500 Kelvin. Cold white, this depends a lot on the ballast, but these are the typical range for tunable white. So um, what the Light in Europe says is that human central light supports health, well vein and performance of humans by combining visual, biological and emotion, emotional benefits of light. So this is what Light in Europe paper says, and this, you can do it with our Kenny's Delicate Way. So I will show you four use cases that can be done with a Kenny's Delicate Way from Siemens, and one in the office building, other in the factory, and then two spaces, one uh, related to, to the position of the sun or the location of the office or of the building. The motivation is that you know the features of our devices through these practical case scenarios. And you will have at the end of the presentation uh, time to ask, and I will be glad to answer to your, to your questions. So let's start with the first use case. This is a typical office building, and we want an automatic and manual control of the lights. And the lighting requirements are the following. So tunnel white is needed, and also is needed a constant lighting control with set point 600 lux, very usual. Then it's required to have a room unit, some kind of room unit to control the lights manually. So not only automatic, but also manually. And regarding human central lighting application, it is required to have a circadian width profile with a smooth curve. And when I mean a smooth curve, a smooth curve is that we want to begin the working day with warm white to have calm, relaxed lighting, 
and then it should change to cold. So, so in the middle of the working day, we have the maximum performance or with cold white around 6,000 Kelvin, in this case, 5,500 Kelvin. And then again, going to a warm white in order to relax, to finish the day, uh, in this case, 2,700 Kelvin. So this is the typical smooth curve that I like for uh, human centric lighting, and this works perfectly in, a, in, a, in an office. So how we can do this? Uh, for that, we need Kenny's Daly Gateway. We can use the Twin Plus. We will see why we need this one, the Plus version with all the functions. Uh, it is required a Kenix process detector, so we can use the Siemens process detector white and a room unit, of course. And if you want to really have an accurate time, and because you can give the time to the to the Canis Daily Gateway, but maybe you have a Canis visualization, or you have a weather station that can provide can provide the time and date. Periodically, you can use it to have a more accurate time in the Canis Daily Gateway. So this is the proposal. How do we do it? So the solution is we use this Canis Daily Gateway, the 21, which has two channels and all the functions. We support color temperature, we support tunnel white because we support DALI device type 8. And how do we do the human centric application? We do it with type programs. So we want to have this curve that you can see on the right, this curve, this smooth curve for the day. So we can do this with time programs and each team, team, uh, time program sends a different color temperature value. So we start with a warm white, as you can see, 2,700 at seven. Then we go in the middle of the day, maximal performance um, at noon. And then again, we go down to use warm white. This is the typical smooth curve for human centric lighting. You can do it all of this in the Canis Delegate Gateway because we have time programs. And in parallel, we need to control the, the brightness of the lights. And for that, we have the presence detector white, which has a <clears throat> other features as a measurement of temperature, humidity, and CO2. But in this case, we focus on the constant light controller. It has a constant light controller with a different master slave, also main lighting group and different self lighting groups in order to have different light levels on the room. And so, as I say, we use it in parallel. So the Canis Daly Gateway on one side controls the color temperature with time programs. And on the other side, in parallel, the presence detector uh, makes the constant lighting control to the brightness, sending the values to the, to the Canis Daly Gateway. So we have both in parallel automatically. And then we will have a room unit or a Canis visualization or whatever to control the light shading and visualize values. Of course, we can control manually the color temperature of the, of the ballast with the Canis Daly Gateway. You may need to, to lock the schedules or to lock the constant light control or whatever in order to really have a, a complete uh, manual control. This depends on the, on the use case. So this is the first use case, automatic and manual control of uh, lights, human centric lighting. Remember color temperature with time programs in order to achieve this curve that you can see here. And in parallel, the presence detector controlling the brightness of the light in order to have the 600, the 600 luxes. Okay, you have one question, please, uh, at the end of the presentation. Then the second one, it's very similar, but in this case, it's a factory and we have two shifts, two work shifts. So we again, one is required to have tunnel white, is required to have constant light control. And we want the same curve, we want the same smooth curve, but for two shifts. And in this case, we don't want, or the customer doesn't want to have can express detectors the customer wants to have DALI presence detector. And okay, we can do it as well. So the proposal is to use our Canis DALI Gateway Plus, again, okay, and in this case, the DALI presence detector high bay of Ocean. So it's DALI, it's not Canis detector, it's a DALI detector. 
So the solution is again with this uh, process, uh, Canis Daily Gateway, we control the color temperature with the time programs. In this case, we need the double because we have two shifts, two work shifts, and so we have two curves, two smooth curves, but with the same values as we saw in the first use case. And we have not a Canis present detector, we have the DALI present detector of OSRAM, which is very good for this application in our, in our factory. And it sends the values to the Canis DALI gateway through DALI. And in the Canis DALI gateway, we have a constant light controller. So we only need the data from OSRAM. You can configure this uh, lighting controller in the plugin, in the, in the ATS or the Canis DALI gateway. And we control all, in this case, the tunnel white, so the, the human centry lighting and the constant lighting control, both of them, we control it, we commission them in the ATS, in the Canis Daly gateway. Okay, so it's more or less the same as the first use case, but in this case, we have a second curve because we have uh, two shifts and the lighting control is performance in performance in the Canis Daly gateway, thanks to the constant lighting control of the Canis Daly gateway. So we need the DALI process detector of OSHA. Okay, this was the second use case. And then the third one here is if in, in case you want to want to have these profiles, these, these curves for human centric lighting, depending on the season, you may need annual time programs. And this you can do it with our Canis Daily Gateway as well. So here we need, depending on the season, you need a different profile for your specific location. Okay, so here you can see in the graph, the use case one and two is the, is the same curve. And then we have a different curve for winter, for spring and fall, and a different one for summer because the sun rises a different hour. So you may need different uh, curves. So you can do it, all of this, you can do it with the kindness that you get with. In this case, the server free, which only has one channel, but all the functions as the 21 has. So the solution, again, we support to number white. And what we need here is uh, additional time programs to say to the Canis Daly Gateway, okay, now it's summer, okay, now it's winter, okay, now it's spring or fall, okay? So this is annual time program. So you need to know the sunrise and sunset time of your location. You can see here in Lucerne, in Switzerland. <clears throat> and with that, you have all these time programs in the in the in the Canis Daly Gateway inside the Canis Daly Gateway in the plugin in the ATS. So you have the curve for summer, for winter, and for the spring and fall, and then you have the annual time programs to activate or deactivate the season. Let's say to activate or deactivate each team program uh, time program. So in that way, the, the, the Canis Daly Gateway will work only with the time programs of the current season. In that way, so you have, you get these different curves, this curve, uh, smooth curves for different seasons, depending on your location. Okay, this is other possibility that you have with our Canis Daly Gateways. And the last one is, <clears throat> In this case, so we want to, to have the type programs depending on the position of the sun. So you can use, you can see relative to the sunset and sunrise profile. So again, because we have in summer and winter, we have different um, <clears throat> times for the sun. So you can see in relative long day or relative short day, there are different curves, but you can do it all of this only with the Canis Daly Gateway. We, you don't need an external logic or external visualization because our Canis Daly Gateway, the type programs have the astro functions. These astro functions allows you to really to say to the Canis Daly Gateway, okay, this is my location. And the Canis Daly Gateway knows automatically when it's sunrise, when it's sunset. And you can see, you can set in the time programs, instead of fixed hours, you can say, okay, one hour after sunrise or two hours before sunset or whatever. So in that case, you have a relative curve, no fixed curve. 
and you get this result. You get these curves relative, depending on the position of the sun. And you can do it with the canister gateway. You need, the, of course, to know the, the location, the, the data, the, the location, the longitude, the latitude, all of this. You have to set this in the in the in the canister gateway, and then. In the time programs, you only have to say to use the astro function and use sunrise and sunset instead of fixed um, hours. Okay, in that in, the, in that way you get these relative curves. This also may, may be interesting of you. And that's where the four use cases. Uh, here you have the links for. for you need more information on the Canis Daily Gateway. The last freeware you can. Uh, at, update any kind of the gateway to the last version and also you can use the Chronix converter library to convert any old uh, configuration to the new one. Even with uh, old kind of the gateways or different kind of the gateways from Siemens, you can convert the old configuration to the newest one. Okay, now so we provide here a web-based training in case you need some training on the device. Okay, so I will close the session. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can see my email as, and you can contact me directly. Thank you very much and have a nice day.